want to introduce you uh, some uh, cases uh, from uh, uh, migrant workers uh, from different nationalities, what they are facing in their job site. First of all, I, I have experienced that uh, the main problems they are facing is about uh, salaries, non-paid salaries. I have now these uh, ladies who just ran away from an agency. Why she ran away? She has been two, two months in an agency. The Caritas intervened for her case when she broke up from the first uh, employer because this first employer they asked her to clean up from different houses from her relatives and then she uh, uh, she refused to do so and they kicked her out to get out from the house when she went she went out from the house as she said she went to a church and she met uh, one religious lady and to she asked her for help this religious lady, she took her to Caritas. Caritas intervened and called the agency. And the, the agency came over Caritas and took her, promised that she give her a new employer again. Unfortunately, two months she has been in the agency, no new employer. And in the four employer, the first employer, she has, she has still two months salary non-paid. And when she asked about her two months salary non-paid, the agency said that no, the son of your madame dropped already your two months salary, $300, to the agency. But till now, no money given. She has a daughter of 10 years old that she needs to take care of. And especially medical care, the eyes, the, the eyes of the daughter need the special uh, care. She has no money. No money to send to her daughter, no money to send to her family. She's an uh, orphan, she has no mother and father anymore, this lady. And the brother and the sister take care of her child. So this is not the first one. Now she is now out from the agency to ask her for help. Who will take care of her now? She doesn't want to go back to Caritas anymore. She doesn't want to go back even to the agency. So she, she just got a phone number from somewhere to ask her for help. So interrogation mark, you see? And now it's the school begin now. She has no money to send her home to take care of her daughter. There is a, a second case that uh, we have also uh, uh, recently, one lady from Madagascar. Recently, one lady from Madagascar. She's not young. She, she has uh, three children to take care of. She has been for many years to work of, to a family uh, to take care of uh, an old lady. Four years she has been there. And later on, she cannot move anymore. The lady needs special assistance and to make pee, to make a car, to go bathroom, to make shower, and then so on. Later on, the husband also fell down, went to hospital. She was the one who take care and watch over of this man, this old man in hospital. And went home, she, she's taking care of those two older men and the lady. But they ask someone else, like a nurse or I don't know, to, to watch over medical uh, medicine. But still she was there. Unfortunately, she got uh, uh, tired. And uh, uh, she got a little bit sick also. Because before she got a surgery, that she need the very she need to pay attention when she gets tired. Now she asked she asked already the employers that I may go for second surgery again because I'm tired my back and then so on. And they didn't care of this one. They threw her uh, word which are not nice and they they blame her and and then so on that you need to delay your surgery and we need you. 
So at last she left the, the, the house because her case is very urgent. The doctor said you cannot delay. You have to, to, to do your surgery. So they deal each other, the doctor and the employers. She made the surgery, you know, by her own, uh, by her, from her own pocket, medicine and, and so on. Now I wanted to visit her in, uh, in the part of Ashbel, to visit her, she's in uh, one month resting, of, uh, resting. resting, but it seems it's not enough, one month, because it's a surgery instead of her uh, genital casa uh, casa. So, even one day, those employers never visit them. And when, uh, when, uh, when uh, she tried to, to call them, what the employer said, the, the not the employer, the, the son of the, the employers, what the son said, we are busy, we are sick in the house. So it means that she is now handling herself about her case. And those family that were, she was taken care of for many years, she didn't get any benefit at all. So I want to tell you again one uh, case of uh, one Filipino. Uh, someone, someone from one church uh, come over me, come to me and said, please, Amen. If you can uh, call this uh, this uh, Filipino girl, because she is really in need. And this uh, lady who talked to me, she is uh, a blind one. She's a blind one believer from one church, and we are very friends. And she knows that uh, we are taking care of girls and, and so on. She said, please. If you can contact this uh, Filipino girl, so you, so I asked one of my girl in the church, a Filipino, if uh, she can contact her so that they can speak in their own language to understand what exactly the problem. This Filipino girl, she has been three years working there. She was she was taking care of one blind woman also. And this blind, 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 blind woman, she's a friend of uh, this uh, blind lady who asked me to intervene. When we know the story, the Filipino opened the case that uh, she never received even one dollar of her salary during three years with them. She's widow, she has three children, and she come here to survive and to support her children. The Filipino, the Filipino girl. And uh, one Sunday, they arranged them how to, to meet each other and to, that the consulate will take care of her case. So she went over directly. We informed the consulate of a Filipino and the, the she went over directly one Sunday, directly the consulate of uh, Filipino took care of her case. She received all her three years of salary and she went home, back home. Happy ending. Yeah, let's see. So what uh, we mean is that if no one there to give the information, she will Till now, she is still in that family. There is one uh, Nigerian uh, lady also, years before. It's not recent, this one, but what I just tell you only what uh, is going on. She's paid for $40 per month. 
for contract. And this forty dollars per month, still she didn't get it. <laughs> and uh, the the employer said that they will send the money in Nigeria to a family to an account in a bank account. Finish three years and uh, three years and more, she went home. And on the flight, as she said. Someone, the neighbor, maybe ask her uh, from where you are, you finish contract, and someone check her uh, passport. When they check her passport, no stamp at all, no visa at all in the passport. And when she went to, when she reached Nigeria, she was thinking, no money at all in the bank, $40 per month during the three years, no money in the bank that they sent. It means that they never send this forty dollar per month. So they were trying to get their money from the uh, I don't know if agency or uh, authorities in uh, Nigeria, and they get the money after. They get from Nigeria the money. I don't know how they report from embassy or uh, agency. I don't know. But when she went came back here in Lebanon come back again because she's in deep need. She's in deep need. When she come back here, this is the time that she opened this in the church, what's going on, what happened to her that time. But when she reached Nigeria, no one penny in the bank account. 